to go. packed. For the OAC. It's Caitlin Tui on your screens, the NC State this athlete looking Monson. for the NCA record. Elise Cranny and Elisa Monson right next to each other. Those two are gunning for the American record currently held by Carissa Schweizer at 8 minutes 25.7. Frankfurt Kermit Invitational 3000 metres. Alicia Monson, <laughs> she questioning which line they're going to. Also having a chat with Daniel Aragon. She'll be doing the pacemaking. She's been asked to go through halfway in four minutes and 10 seconds. USA lightning quick. Schweitzer. It's aggressive, Hannah. My question is, is it too aggressive? I mean, I guess we're going to find out. We are, and I think uh, Alicia Monson and her On Athletics Club have been tearing up the record books. Yared Nguze breaking the American record on the men's side with 7.28. We'll see him uh, later on this evening in the mile. So Alicia Monson from the sta same stable. They train in Colorado, Boulder, coached by Dathan Ritzenheim, a phenomenal athlete in his own right. So you kind of feel they know what they're doing. Um, Alicia Monson, she's the athlete that's, yeah, that everyone's expecting to do this, but Elise Cranny, She's a very, very good athlete. She's got phenomenal range, 3.59 all the way up to 30 minutes, 14 uh, for the 10,000 metres. So uh, if, if I was Elise Cranny, I'd be thinking, I'm just going to sit in here, <laughs> let Elise Monson do all the work and then unleash my 3.59 speed. Uh, it would be a good tactic, wouldn't it? But, you know, going back to the record, you know, we hear all these record attempts, but I think a lot of the athletes at this meeting, they've all been very honest and very vocal you know we'll particularly talk about the men's one mile attempts you know right at the end of the program but i think it's quite unusual that all the athletes have arrived on the start line knowing what most people's objectives are you know they just want to run as quick as they can which is really interesting but if you do try and attack a record do you get so far ahead of the record that you give yourself a little bit of bumper space and you know you know, I can just Aragon, grind it out towards Monson, the end. Cranny, or do you run it conservatively Ellis, and you run it economically? Yalba. But they've gone aggressive, Hannah. It's under 67 seconds, which is what Danielle Aragon has been asked to do. Yalba, I, the I think the Hannah idea of, of going out hard and hanging on, for me, that, that works in an 800. It works in a 1500, summer. maybe, if you can hold it together. Like 3,000. It's a long way. <laughs> it's a long, long way. And we can see here champion. pictures. We have got two pacemakers in the field. Daniel Aragon has been asked to go at that eight, well, 8.20 pace with hope of breaking the American record. We've got Anna Kemp Bennett in there as a second pacemaker, yeah, almost yeah, at that now, NCA record you're pace you're for you're perhaps you're the likes of Caitlin Tui. She tries to make um, that mark. Both marks uh, held by Carissa Schreiser. <laughs> I wonder if she's watching. This could be a, an agonising evening. bad evening, couldn't she? <laughs> but I actually think as a retired athlete, you know the sport moves on. You want people to do well. But fantastic that we've got two pacemakers like you say you know when you get a field and there's a couple of athletes going after a record the rest of the field find it very very difficult you know what do they go at but there's lots and lots of things to go at look these women are working very very hard but Hannah I think our heads are going to be scrambled by the end of this there'll be all sorts of personal best seasons best hopefully national records collegiate records we'll do our best to keep on top of it well I think they came through 800 meters and around about 213 214 which is almost exactly what Carissa, Carissa Schweitzer did uh, here a few years ago when she set that US record. So they're bang on pace at the moment. Schweitzer did settle down to a 4.31 mile, so we'll kind of try and keep our eye on that. But at the moment, single file for these top three women racing. We've also got Ellie Hems in there. She slotted herself into third place. She's got a personal best of 8.49 from last year. So she is operating a huge margin underneath her personal best. Lisa Monson and Elise Cranny, they've kind of been in this territory before. They sort of know what they're doing. Um, but Ellie hands on the back of that group. Fair play to her. Well, I've got to say, Ellie Hans, she has run a little bit quicker outdoors. She's run 8.42. But sometimes when you've just wintered really well you can make a big big difference you know Ellie Hens is only 24 it's still relatively young especially in distance running and uh, she's definitely set off with good intention and she'll be well aware of what these two women are trying to do and she just looks like very very comfortable at the moment and she could be in for a huge personal best Anna doing the work. Alicia Monson just checking the screen. For Laura Galvan, and she will see exactly Morgan, what she would have expected. Elise Cranny stuck to her back like glue. Alicia 
East Crowley Park, the Bowerman Track Club. They've been training up in Flagstaff and sort of the, uh, the banter, if you like, is uh, they're only allowed to come and race when they're running really well. And so when you see a Bowerman Track Club uh, athlete on a start list, it's certainly time to get excited. Of course, they run the national championships and everything that requires them to, to qualify for the international competitions. But to take the time out of a, a kind of really, really good training regime and come down to race like this, uh, it's exciting. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what happens with Elise Cranny and Alicia Monson as they move through the next few laps. So that was 4.32, at, haven't they? It's only a second off what Carissa Schreiser went through when she ran 8.25. Um, and I do think we run a 3K well, says the woman that's only run about four. And only one of them any well. Uh, you really want to lift, you get rolling in those last few laps um, and you can win back some time. That's really interesting, you know, from someone who's never run one before, uh, especially competitively, but really interesting now. I think Alicia Monson knew she would be in this position. She would have known, Elise Cranny, she's probably not going to do the work. She will be relying on me at the front. And she does look good, Alicia Monson, doesn't she? She looks controlled. If you look at her running style, she hasn't really changed from the beginning of the race so far. The facial expression doesn't look like it's changed either, but Cranny, Cranny looks good as well, doesn't she? Cranny's just slotting in there. Here's a look back at Caitlin Tui, the NCA star, took the NCA mile record last week, uh, finishing third behind uh, Morgan, who's in front of her at the moment, and Monson. She had one NCA record last week. Can she get another here in the 3,000? And these two are really closing up on this lead group. Um, is Alicia Monson slowing? I'd say she has to be if those women are coming back into the picture. Alicia Monson, she took a similar Monson, win last year, almost gun to tape, uh, ran away with it, 8.31.62. That is still the meeting record. So we Alicia Monson and Elise Cranny just trying to keep the momentum We're going in the latter stages of this 3,000. Well, it's interesting Monson, to see Monson. She did a mile before this one. Last year in January, she did win the US National Cross Country Championships and then she went to the indoors. This year, she's decided not to do that. But this is where it really starts to hurt, doesn't it? Just with a few laps to go, they've got about two minutes of running left. And Monson now is moving away from Cranny. That might be significant. The momentum from Whitney Morgan and Caitlin Tui is phenomenal. When you've got athletes to target, to catch up as you go down this track, and Whitney Morgan is pulling Caitlin Tui back towards the likes of Alicia Monson. Elise Cranny, her race could be run. This was an aggressive early pace. Alicia Monson still moving super well, but how fast are Whitney Morgan and Caitlin Tui moving? Oh, I can't wait to see what the final result of this will be. Elise Cranny looks like she's really paying for that first really fast pace at the beginning. But Monson's moving at 67 seconds through every 400 metres now. It did slow to 67, didn't it? So here we are, two laps to go, 400 metres. What are the chances, Hannah? I think, uh, I mean, Alicia Monson is tough as nails. Her 8.31 here last year was run in similar fashion. Uh, that was a wonderful platform for a brilliant outdoor season. Saw her mix it with the very best um, on the circuit, on that Diamond League circuit. But Alicia Monson, as she looks up at that screen, she's got around about 230, 220 metres to go. And I do think Whitney Morgan has stopped making inroads into Alicia Monson. Alicia Monson, 65 seconds for that 400 metres. Ah, do you I think the uh, American record she's going to need 32 seconds so it could be possible she's going to really need to lift and fight that mark of Carissa Schweitzer 825.7 Elisa Monson is going to give it absolutely everything she swings into the home straight for the final time and she's digging deep the clock's ticking by 825 dead that will be a new American record for Alicia Johnson a fantastic result there for Whitney Morgan in second place. That is brilliant for Alicia Monson. If you listen to the end stadium announcer, that does suggest Caitlin Tui has surpassed the collegiate mark as well. So commiserations to Carissa Schweitzer. Congratulations to Alicia Monson and Caitlin Tui. Well, so much going on in that race. So difficult to keep a track of it. 
I tell you what, Hannah, there are some hard-working women there. They're training that has to go on behind the scenes. Alicia Monson, she was just superb, wasn't she? That was absolutely phenomenal. I, I love the On Athletics Club. They're very open uh, with their ambitions, with their goals. They, they put some great footage online of their, of their training. Um, so we kind of knew that they were going to be in shape and that they were excited for this. Uh, but Alicia Monson breaking that American record. So it's the women's 3,000 meter indoor record to Alicia Monson and the men's at the moment <laughs> with Yared and Guse. I think uh, they, yeah, it could be threatened a little bit in the men's race athlete. later on. But for the moment, that training club hold both North American Rock records. High school, New York. First eight all set PRs. All right, Alicia, you've had this target out for all season long. What does it mean to come in here with the pacemakers, with this environment, and accomplish this goal of an American record? Oh, my gosh, it was great. You know, we've been looking at this for a couple months now, and it feels so good to actually come and pull it off, and it was so great. It's such a great environment. I loved it. Our Kara Goucher said you had to have the last 400 meters of your life, the last two laps. What did you know about the time, and how did you adjust to get it? You know, I was looking at the times, and I kind of knew exactly what I would have to <laughs> count down to, so I was just trying to squeeze it all and got it by a couple tenths. So, yeah, how about that? Yeah. <laughs> and right behind you, Caitlin, what does it mean for you to be behind there but on target, and you yeah. set a collegiate record here today? Yeah, that was awesome. She's someone I look up to so much, and um, yeah, I know you ran the mill rows when you were in college, so I was just trying to fill in her place and um, come out here and run fast. I had Ellie and Hannah here who are alumni, come tennis, my family, so it was a great day. It was. Ladies, congratulations. Collegiate record and an American record. Paul?